if you remember at the beginning of my presentation on the first day, I said I will uh, go sequentially on showing you the treatment planning, the aesthetic considerations, the uh, uh, digital approach for planning. We uh, spoke about the uh, uh, cantilever implant prosthetic design. And now we will look at the uh, digital prosthodontics. And I would like to start by sharing with you um, how we started with uh, uh, digital prosthodontics. And it was by doing this uh, study, uh, which was funded by uh, the ITI Foundation. We got a grant. We got our first digital scanner in 2009. And what we did is we took uh, 30 patients. We scanned them once with a digital impression. And then right after, we took a conventional one. Uh, and you can see here uh, all these uh, uh, x-rays. Uh, these are the patients that, that we treated here. Uh, and these are all the digital impressions that we took on these patients. And then we asked the patients, say, how, how was your experience? Uh, the digital impression was rated somewhere from 8 to 10. Uh, the conventional impression, the highest score that we got was a 4. <laughs> right? So I didn't, I didn't even dare to put the slide to show it was so obvious what the patient's reaction. Now we also measured the time, and the time was significantly lower, but we spent more time on the digital impression because the patients, they were recording with their phones. You know, I need to show this to my husband, you know? So we also spent some time in there. So it was really uh, interesting. And what we did is then we um, blind the lab orders, and we sent uh, uh, the uh, fabrication of two crowns.